Speaking of world number one, per report from our colleague Eamon Lynch, Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy are set to team up in a made-for-TV match against Bryson DeChambeau and Brooks Kepka this December in Las Vegas. Per Lynch, the competition has been confirmed by each of the players' agents. In a quote to Golf Week, Rory McIlroy said the following, quoting, this isn't just a contest between some of golf's major champions. It's an event designed to energize the fans. We're all here to put on a great show and contribute to a goodwill event that brings the best together again. Close quote. Golf Channel senior writer Rex Hogger joins us now with more on this report. Interesting quote there from Rory, Rex. So how would you define what exactly is this event and why do you think it's taking place? Well, Matt, it's unclear if this is going to be part of that official match series. You remember those started way back in 2018 with that match between Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. That also was in Las Vegas. But this match will have many of the same producers and marketers that we've seen throughout the history of those matches. It also seems to be following the same format if you look at what Eamon reported today. A couple of high-profile players playing in prime time on the East Coast at, during a time of year when you don't have any golf and you're kind of trying to ease in to football season or in between football games, so to speak. And there is one distinction that needs to be pointed out in Eamon's reporting, that there is no prize money for the actual matches. Each of the players is getting an appearance fee. I think this is important, though, because of w what's going to be on the poster. When you market this, it's going to be PGA Tour versus Live Golf. And I, I guess this is a bit of a celebration, the obvious, to ask you this, but why do you think that these four players in particular, at least given some of the history between these players, were chosen? Matt, nothing random about these four players. You can break down all four and know exactly why they're in these matches. Start with Rory McIlroy. He has become the most outspoken proponent of a deal between the PGA Tour and Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. Anything that would bring golf back together, reunite the game. He talked about it last week at Eastlake. It's very important for him. Now, Scotty has not been as outspoken, but he's clearly the world number one by a long shot, just coming off that FedEx Cup victory. It gives him an opportunity to shine in maybe an atmosphere where he's never been in before. And then on the Live Golf side, Brooks Kepka, again, very, very outspoken proponent of what Live Golf is trying to do. And then Bryson DeChambeau, just go back to June. When he won the U.S. Open after Pinehurst, he was arguably the most popular player on the planet. And to bring him into the mix on this, I read Rory's, Mac, uh, Rory's comments to Eamon, just trying to grow the game. I think that's going to get a lot of eyeballs. Yeah, to that point, should we read anything more into all of this? Uh, what do you think that this represents from, uh, you know, uh, the broad view? Well, go back to last week when the commissioner spoke with the media at East Lake, and he used words like, yes, they're making progress in those negotiations with the public investment fund, and he was optimistic. But it was also clear by some of the other things he said that we're not close to a deal. It's been 15 months since the PGA Tour announced that they were going to have the framework agreement with the public investment fund. And if not stalled, then at the very least, those neg negotiations have become mired. And the kind of legal details I think everybody kind of expected would be the difficult part of this process. Now look at what this means. At least tacitly, the PGA Tour would have to grant both Rory and Scotty their media rights to participate in this. That means that they would be tacitly approving of a match between the two sides. You're reading between the lines a little bit and filling in some blanks, but I think this is a very significant first step for the PGA Tour. And very interesting indeed. Thank you very much for looking into this. We look forward to your continued reports.